guys welcome to another video this one is using the absolutely gorgeous echo park paper co be happy collection i love this i swear to god every year they seem to bring out just one collection that i just oh i love it and i just want to stretch it as far as i can i love this one now in this one i have decided to show you a masking technique because I am not a stamper. I've said that before. I'll say it again. I'll say it a million times. Uh, I'm not a stamper, but I'm new to this. And if I can do it, you can do it. Like, honestly. What I decided to do was I used my um, my mint tape from scrapbook.com that has been provided for me. Thank you so much to my lovely subscribers that have sent it to me. I absolutely love this product. This stuff, dead set, stays sticky. All the way through and even at the end of this project i actually put these these what do you call them masks i actually put them on a plastic sleeve and i've left them with the stamps because they're still sticky so i can do it again with something else or a different layout doing whatever so what i'm doing here is i've pulled out my hickory smoke distress oxide spray and i'm going for a gray muted gray and black tone gray black white tone and what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to stamp up through the center so you can see there that I've just drawn a couple of lot guidelines knowing that if it's on the outside of those lines it won't be seen if that makes sense so I am just going to town now I've pulled out these stamps are some super cheap and cheerful as natasha would say stamps i got these ones from the reject shop if you're an aussie um ages ago like i'm talking five years ago easily and what i decided to do was i've never done this before so i'm a bit clunky at the beginning but i do sort of get into it and i realize what i'm doing and it's actually way easier than i thought it would be and this masking technique could be used for so much like you guys i have done this before using post-it notes if you don't have the mint tape i know that australia does have similar products i've tried painters tape painters tape doesn't always come up properly and i have had it tear my paper underneath which is disappointing when you put in all this work as you can see this actually i mean this is the longest part of the video but this stamping section even though i've sped this up and you can see that i've sped it up it took me a good i would say a good 40 minutes maybe longer and i mean i'm no stamper so anyone that's a stamper could probably smash this out pretty pretty quickly but for me personally it took me a little bit of time and it, it took me time to sort of grasp how it was going to look as i was going so it and i think it turns out pretty good in the end so i'm just using my versafine onyx black ink now the reason i'm using that particular ink is it's a really good clear stamping ink it gives you a nice crisp line it doesn't blur it doesn't and it's a permanent ink once it's fully dry so for me personally I know people do put um what do you call it embossing clear embossing powder over the top of it you can do that i didn't do it on this particular layout because i wasn't coloring them in afterwards i'm stamping on top of the gray which just looks really messy right now and it looks like you're probably looking at it thinking to yourself what on earth are you doing you crazy woman what are you doing this time but trust me stick it out you can you can at the end of it you can see and i was going to run up the center with a heap of bling but when i got to the end i went you know what sometimes there's just a page in your album that bling is not required you know whether it's um whether it is uh you know your actual like your pink fresh studio bling or you know my cheapy bling that i've got or you know the liquid pearls i use those things all the time and i love each and every one of them i you know I, and i love using those things but for this particular layout 
I didn't use them. Now, while I've got your attention, just for a second, I'm going to explain something extra that I will be adding to my... Actually, I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to stick around. You need to subscribe. You need to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff because I've got something pretty exciting coming up and it's quick and it's fun and it's easy and it's lots of things explained. I have a lot of people asking me various questions at different points of different videos and stuff like that. So I'm doing something on the side. So that will be coming to you very, very soon. Now, it may even be down by time. <laughs> it may even be up by time this video comes, abo comes on board. But that's okay. What else can I tell you? Today is a freezing freezing what have we got today oh we haven't even hit 20 degrees today we are maxed out at 18 degrees so for us sunny queenslanders here down under i can tell you holy macaroni she was chilly this morning when i got up it was like six degrees that is ridiculous for queensland like that is insane i love the cold don't get me wrong absolutely love the cold i have never when i say that don't come at me <laughs> i have never seen snow we have never had we've had actually we did have ice on taylor's car a few years ago um there was one particular morning and <laughs> it was freezing cold wowza was it cold but um yeah that was all good so we did have that but today it's I think we're coming into rain. I believe it's supposed to rain all next week. Doesn't that sound super exciting? Lots of rain. Yay. Actually, we could do with a little bit of rain. It's, I know that sounds crazy because we've had flood, 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 but we really could do with a little bit of a top up at the moment. It'd be good. So, uh, what else can I tell you? Did the grocery shopping? Let's have, let's just have a little whinge on the side while I stamp. Let's just, let's just put it out there. Who else is over the cost of everything going through the roof? Like, oh, I can't even express how much this inflation issue is hurting people. Like, wow. And then when I was watching, I'm going to have a little bit of a rant here. Um... I was watching a show here in Australia. It's called The Project and you can get it online, all that sort of stuff. Um, and they were explaining about the inflation issue and all that sort of thing and, and what affects it the most and all the rest of it. And they were saying, they were talking about um, Taylor Swift tickets and she had released that she was going to have her concerts and whatnot. Just, I think Sydney, Melbourne, I don't know. There was a couple of places in, in Australia. This is... I mean, by the time you watch this video, it's probably irrelevant anyway, but they were explaining that buying tickets like that affects the inflation, which then will in turn us mum and dads that are trying to pay our mortgage and all the rest of it. And I was just like, when I put two and two together and I'm like, oh my God, like seriously, these people are paying thousands of dollars and that is all just going to the bottom line. And it's like, oh my God, don't get me wrong. Everyone's entitled to have fun. And every and I like Taylor Swift. Don't get me wrong. I love Taylor Swift. I love all the, I'm not a Swifty. I wouldn't call myself a Swifty, but I do like her songs. I think she's a very, very savvy businesswoman. And, you know, I loved all her stuff when she was, um, back when she was sort of more country. But... Let's be honest. We love we love listening to a bit of Taylor Taylor Swift when we're driving along and the traffic's crap and you know she always gets you in the mood. It's pretty good. So yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a moment for me, a bit of a wake up call going, hello, you're a grown adult. These are adult issues you need to deal with. So yeah, it was pretty. My kids were pro it probably opened my kids' eyes more than mine to be honest, but. Which is not a bad thing. It's a learning curve. It's one we didn't wish we had to have. But, you know, it's one of those moments. 
So there's my stamping. I'm going to stop my ranting now. So there's my stamping. As you can see, sort of looks a bit like a hot mess, but it comes together in the end. Now I'm having issues with my art glitter glue. I was still having issues with it. This is all self-inflicted, by the way. I didn't realize that my metal tip had actually broken. And it was actually one of my actual art glitter glue tips, believe it or not. And it actually broke around the little narrow piece and the glue was coming out of there. So even though I was putting the pin in it, there was still air getting in there. So it's okay. I just changed that out and it's all fixed now. So it's all good. But as you can see, I'm having issues with my glue and it's driving me crackers. And it did this for like three days. So three days worth of videos. But that's okay. So these photos are not the best quality photos. I will be honest with you, right? They were taken in a movie cinema and there was low light. And it's back when I think I had maybe my iPhone 5, maybe 4. I don't know. <laughs> you look at your photos now and they're so crisp and clear. And the evolution of photos. Maybe I should do a video of that one day. The evolution of the photo. Like, wow. Wow. It has just come so far, it's crazy. But, so these photos are not the best photos, but they're ones that it was still a nice day and it was still a memory. So for me, it doesn't phase me using photos that are not necessarily crystal clear. From this distance where I've got the camera, it, it doesn't look too bad. So that's what I sort of, that's what I take from it. Now, you can see I was going to tuck these in side by side and this is where I was going with this but then I realized I've used two photos these were printed ages ago and they, they were four by six and I've just cut some of the end off so they're not six inches long but when I put them down then I sat back and realized I've just cut up covered all my stamping well, what was the point of doing all that stamping so I realized with mi most mixed media, there's usually a bit of a situation where you will always cover some of it up. But I was, I think it was about here, I realized, you know what? I've covered up all my stamping and now it just looks really busy and it doesn't look intentional. So that's when I lifted up the sticker. Now, I was very lucky to be able to do that because these photos have a bit of a gloss to them. My usual photos would not let me do that because I now print my photos. So here's how I fixed it, by the way. Um, I covered myself up. We only need one of me on a layout. <laughs> Just one. That's all we need. We don't need two. But I wanted both my girls on there. So I, I went with that and I thought, you know what? That's a little bit better. Now I can see more of the stamping and I know it's supposed to be about the photos and the experience and all the rest of it but this specific layout I wanted to actually show you guys what it would look like with the stamping through the center that was supposed to be my focal point so covering it all up was not going to work now I'm using my giant scissors here to do my um I'm going around and I'm creating an offset basically. So normally on my Cricut, I would do this and it wouldn't be a problem, but I've just decided to create one manually with these stickers that go with the, the layout. And I really like having the black border, having that multiplied on the layout looks really cool. And I'm using my large Tim Holtz scissors and those things, that's how I get my line straight. Something that I want everyone to know, this has taken a lot of practice. I've been scrapbooking for 20 years, right? I do... Don't be discouraged if you try fussy cutting and you have some corners or you have some pointy bits where they shouldn't be or you they just don't look like ephemera. Don't give up. It takes practice, lots of practice. It could be the scissors you're using. It could be... I used to try and use just some different, they were thin pointy nose scissors. I was using those and whilst they were sharp, I had very little control. Whereas you can see on screen right at the moment, I've got my mini snips in my hand and those scissors for me were a game changer. They, I'll, 
I do have a link in the description below to a store that I purchase from all the time and they support my channel and it's Crazy Craft Obsession. If you're from Australia or New Zealand, they have them in stock and I'm letting you know in advance, these things were a game changer because they've got a slight serration to like a serrated edge on one side of the scissors and when you cut it actually gives you more control I find I can stop a lot easier with those scissors and the handles are flexible so they're soft and flexible I don't get sore hands which is great for someone that has nerve damage and it just makes a massive difference especially like on this particular cardstock which is a brushed metallic um, gold it when you're cutting this out there's a couple of different things that I want to show you that make a difference now I will have a video up later in the week that will show you how I'm fussy cutting and I'll slow it down okay so you can see how I'm actually getting it to look the way I'm getting it to look so you can practice doing it yourself and then you will see that it's actually enjoyable. It's it's actually, I find it personally. Now, I'm not diagnosed or anything, but I reckon I've got ADHD, FYI, you know, um, and my kids say it to me all the time because Jen's got ADHD and my kids say it to me all the time, mom, stay on track, stay on one thing. Like, yo, come back, come back to me because I'll have like three or four conversations. I'm sure I do it in these videos too. And I don't stay focused. I'm, I'm like a gerbil on crack sometimes. Like I just, I just, you know, go, 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 go. And I just think of the next thing and the next thing. And yeah. So with the fussy cutting, I'm going to do an actual real time video for you to show you how I do it zoomed in so that you can see how I get these results. Now, what am I doing? I am adding some black and some yellow twine. Now, the yellow one I got from Kmart eons ago. I don't know if they even still have it. The black one also from Kmart. They are two different. One's more like a cotton and one's more like a uh, baling twine. Both really fine. And I'm trying in vain to do another bow. Look, me and bows, we don't go together well. We don't play well together. We really don't. I try, I try really hard to make them look cute, but oh, geez, I tell you, it takes some effort. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good with bows. If you've got secrets to tying good bows, I like tags with bows on them and I watch some people and they just do them and they sit perfectly every single time. And mine, they look like a preschool has done his shoelaces up on the wrong foot. That's how mine look and <laughs> trust me, I'm not a preschooler. I know what I'm doing. I really do, but that's okay. All right. So be a beautiful day. And I've added those couple of tags on there. This, I was going to add more mixed media. I really was. But then I went, you know what? Now this is something Carol, Carol and I have been talking about this. Hi, Carol. Um, this is is using your pen with your Cricut. Why, why have I not been doing this? I absolutely love how this turned out. This is, I use the original Cricut pen that my Cricut came with. I have a Cricut Explore Air 2. And this, I just typed a text box and did it in writing and it worked perfectly. And I absolutely love how it looks. It is so cute. Way better than my handwriting, although I know handwriting's important. I know that, but some of us don't like our handwriting. And I was saying to Carol the other day that sometimes when I, I can write here and now in a book and it's one way, and then I'll pick the pen up and I'll write completely different. It's like two different people have used, are doing the same handwriting. So sometimes it's neat, sometimes it's not. So I was feeling like, let's give this a crack and see what it looks like. And I was actually talking to Carol at the time and it looks amazing. I absolutely love it. So I will be bringing you more writing by Cricut <laughs> um, in the future because I absolutely love how it turned out. It's really good. And if you pay the money for a machine, you might as well 
use it for all the different benefits that you can possibly use it for. So this is all coming together now. I'm still, look at me, I'm still messing with this glue. I'm still thinking it's my fault. Like I'm thinking it's because I haven't put the pin in it. It's not until after the next video that I've recorded that I realized it wasn't me. It was the actual tip that was broken. So anyway, I think this is just about me. I was considering here, I was considering putting some extra bits on there and I went, no, stop stop just stop that's enough it's it's perfect the way it is so you can see my stamping it's not perfect but you know what it works I love it I actually really really like it so I have ordered some extra bits and pieces hopefully they turn up in the next couple of weeks and then we can have a lot more fun it'll be fantastic so thank you so much for watching thank you for hopefully leaving me a comment hit the thumbs up if you've got value out of this video and I will be back tomorrow with another video for you hopefully with some more tips and tricks that you can hopefully use on your layouts thanks for watching guys bye for now